Hi, my name is Eric and I live in Sweden, but this semester I've been studying in Spain, in Madrid. Very many people have asked me if I could teach them some Swedish. And also here on YouTube it seems like it's an interest. So I thought to myself, why don't I make a series, learn Swedish. But first we have to ask ourselves, why do you want to learn Swedish? Why should you learn Swedish? And my answer to that is, I don't know. Swedish is not a big language. We're only about 10 million people in Sweden. And we all know English. Even, even the older people. Because Swedish is such a small language, it's of great importance to know English. We start learning English when we're about 8 years old. In some universities in Sweden, they have their masters, the last two years, in English. Also, we have all the American shows and movies, and that helps us, of course, maintain this level of English. Something I like is that uh, the Norwegian people speak pretty much the same language. So, with them you can speak without problem, if you know Swedish. I have some uh, Norwegian friends, and I understand almost everything they say and vice versa. And then the Danish people, I can read Danish, I can un understand what I read, but it is very hard to understand what they are saying. Jeg kan ikke prate dansk, men låt lysen det. Finnish is completely different. It's another family. However, uh, they teach Swedish in their schools. They have areas where they speak Swedish, only Swedish sometimes in Finland. And then I can add, if you know some Swedish, you see the similarities uh, to the German language. Swedish and German is not very different. Then of course, I don't know German. Swedish, German and English are Germanic languages and Spanish is a Romance language which French, Italian, Portuguese also are. And because I know Spanish, I can understand a little French too, a little Italian, a little Portuguese. If a friend writes on Facebook in their language, in Italian or Portuguese, I can understand it, I can understand parts of it. So with that I want to say that if you know more languages, it opens up new worlds. You can learn any number of languages. You just need to use these languages. You need to practice. So really, you could learn 11 languages. I teach you a little here. You can learn a lot uh, on YouTube. I can say I like Spanish very, very much. I like English very much too. Um, and I like Swedish. It's really cool to know three languages and you can compare them. You understand how languages are built or you understand a little bit more. You also learn much about your own language because that's when you start to think hmm, why, why does this rule exist? Or why, why is this word written like this? It's really cool to, um, to be here, to be in Spain and just live and learn. So you, you talk to your friends, you don't need to study, you just talk to your friends and you learn. And that I like so much. The friends that asked me if I could help them uh, learn Swedish, they learned very fast. I was impressed. Basic Swedish, but useful, useful Swedish. If you want to learn a language, you can. I don't know why you want to learn Swedish. Maybe you think it sounds nice. Hej, jag heter Erik. Jag bor vanligtvis i Stockholm. Det är roligt att lära sig språk och jag hoppas att du kommer lära dig mycket också. Maybe you like Slatan Ibrahimovic, which of course you do. I don't know why you want to learn Swedish, but maybe you do. So let's start in the next video.